We are just over one week away from Election Day, and Hillary Clinton is dealing with a new investigation into her emails from her time as Secretary of State. Yahoo News Chief Investigative Correspondent Michael Isakoff is in Washington. All right, Michael, so where does this investigation stand? Has the FBI been able to review these new Abedin emails linked to the Clinton probe? No, and that's the remarkable thing. At the time that uh, uh, FBI Director Comey wrote that letter on Friday, um, agents had not yet uh, gotten a warrant to read the emails, so they hadn't been able to review any of them. The bottom line is that the FBI does not at this point know whether these are new emails that they haven't seen before or duplicates of what they've already seen, whether they, it contain, whether they contain classified information or not, or whether they are simply um, uh, press clips of State Department um, uh, business that was forwarded by Huma Abedin. Um, so that's what makes this letter that uh, the director sent so controversial because it seemed to suggest that there might be significant new material when in fact the FBI really doesn't know at this point. And so with all of that in mind, Michael, what do we know about James Comey's decision here? Well, look, the FBI director felt he was in a very difficult place because his agents who are conducting this totally separate investigation into uh, Anthony Weiner's sexting with a underage teenager in North Carolina sees his laptop, the Weiner laptop, they see it has all these emails from Huma Abedin on it and they raise questions as to, they, they take it to the director of the FBI and say look we need to look at these to see whether they are pertinent to the investigation, the closed investigation of Hillary Clinton's email server. From the perspective of FBI Director Comey, he felt that he could not sit on this. If he did nothing once being briefed on this, he would be accused of, uh, of, of trying to help Hillary Clinton by keeping investigative steps under wraps before the election. Um, uh, he felt that if he did it without alerting Congress, it would leak and, um, uh, and then the public would know and again he would be accused of concealing relevant information to the election. So he made this decision to write this letter publicly saying that the FBI was going to seek to obtain access to these emails. The problem is, number one, he got uh, the Justice Department warned him not to send the letter, saying that that would violate long-standing department policy of taking any investigative step on the eve of an election that might affect the outcome. Um, Director Comey uh, chose to ignore that guidance from the Justice Department and acted on his own. So he ignored DOJ guidance. He's now getting hit by the Clinton campaign and Hillary Clinton herself. Donald Trump is praising essentially now this step by Director Comey. Do you think that the FBI director is going to offer a more thorough explanation like he did back in July when he announced the decision to not recommend charges against Clinton? Well, I think he may try to offer a more thorough explanation of his decision-making process here, but it's hard to see how he can offer any additional information about the content of the emails, which is really what people want to know. Is there new material here that sheds new light on Hillary Clinton's conduct or Huma Abedin's conduct and whether it might violate the law or not. Given that the FBI has not been able to review these emails yet, given that it would it, it could take some time, there are so, said to be thousands of emails, uh, to determine whether they are classified or not would require circulating them with various relevant agencies, not just the State Department, but the CIA, the, CIA, the Director of National Intelligence, uh, uh, DOD possibly. Possibly. So that could be a time-consuming process, and yet we don't know at this point whether it would yield any new information that's relevant to the Hillary Clinton email server case. It's very hard to see how Director Comey could shed any light on that, certainly before the election. A lot of unanswered questions at this moment, just a little over a week away from the election. All right, Michael Isakoff, thank you so much. Thank you.